Hi there, I'm Andy Malone. I'm a Microsoft MVP as well as a Microsoft Certified Trainer. This week it's the turn of GDPR. That's the European Union's uh, General Data Protection Regulation. It, pro it provides additional protections for data subjects. Who's a data subject? You and me. We're all data subjects. And under this regulation, if your data resides anywhere within the European Union, you have the right to know what's being said about you. So one of the things about being an administrator in Microsoft 365, you'll need to know how to acknowledge, not only acknowledge the request, but also carry that request out. So in this week's All You Need to Know, we're going to take a look at how it works and more importantly, how you can service these requests. So without further ado, let's take a look. Okay, so our journey into GDPR as an administrator in Microsoft 365 is first of all, you need to understand exactly what GDPR is. And there are many websites here which talk about your responsibilities as the data controller and or processor and also the, the rights of the data subject. Now, one of those rights as a data subject is that you can provide transparent information, communication uh, for that uh, person who is requesting their data. Um, information is to provided where personal data is collected about the data subject. So if you have uh, users within your organization who uh, either are in the European Union or converse with people in the European Union, then as a data subject, so you and me and everybody else, we have the right to have a copy of that. And more than that, you'll remember in the old days, if we wanted a copy of our credit report, often companies uh, would charge for that. Nowadays, they're not allowed to do that, unless, of course, that the request is excessive and there's an awful lot of work involved, then they potentially could charge you for it. So uh, understanding what the GDPR is um, this is a great website for that. And I just Google this, of course. Um, so what we're talking about, of course, is Microsoft 365. And Microsoft 365, Microsoft generally actually have this trust center here. And it, and it, it explains exactly what a GDPR data request is. So all the DSR documentation is in here. You've got, tells you about all the different administration tools. Uh, and in fact, if we go into the actual documentation, let's say, for example, as I am today working with Microsoft 365, I can go in here and you can see it gives me the complete rundown, everything that I need to know in this white paper. And you can find this at docs. Dot Microsoft dot com. So I'm going to kick off my demo in the admin center and I just wanted to draw your attention just to one little issue. So if I come in first of all to the Azure Active Directory and in Azure AD, I'm going to scroll down in here and I'm going to come into users. Now let's say I've got a user called Alex, okay, and Alex is requesting um, that I you know, he wants a copy of any information held about him. Okay, so I'm going to go into his account. One little thing. Now, if you work in education, schools, and so on, um, one of the principles of GDPR is that you must have or received consent from the data subject. So we have this area here in Azure AD called Miners and Consent. So I can go up here, I can edit this, and you can then easily specify, is the person requesting, are they a minor, are they an adult or not, maybe a teenager, something like that. And if they are granted or granting consent, then again, you can specify that here. Now, again, depending on the industry that you're in, depending on the marketplace that you're in, this could be a game changer for you. So it's, it is important. So you can find that, as I say, in Azure Active Directory. Okay, so back to the admin center. And today I want to go into my compliance admin center. And in the 
In here, I'm just going to click on show all and I'm going to click on data subject requests. So one of the first things that you need to do is you need to create a request. So I'm going to call this um, Alex's request. Okay. So Alex's, oh, sorry, it would help if I spelled that correctly, of course. Oops. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put in Alex's request. All right. So uh, Alex request, I'm going to say, um, okay, uh, yeah, just put that in there. Uh, I'm then going to say, okay, let's click next. And is this for a particular user? Well, I've just said it's for my user called Alex uh, Wibber. And I'm going to click next. Okay. Now, please note that this can be a group. It can be a Microsoft team. Or as you can see here, it can be an individual. So I'm going to save that. And the next thing it does, once it's finished, uh, just click on finish. Now I could say, show me the results, or you can go in and click on finish. So if you click that, of course, I can then just open up this. Okay, so now that it opens, um, I'm going to uh, say, okay, what is it you want to search for? Okay, so you can either do one of two things. Uh, you can just search here, or we can do something called a guided search. And a guided search basically says, okay, what do you want to uh, do? So I'm just going to simply call this Alex's search. Okay, and click on next. And is it again for all users? Well, no, um, it's for Alex. Okay, uh, so Alex, and I'm going to click next. And all it's going to do now is it's going to look for everything to do with Alex. So if I click on finish, you can see, first of all, here, the participant, it's Alex, uh, his email here. Um, I can also search, do I want to search for everything? So all locations, of course, includes, you know, Outlook or Exchange, Teams, OneDrive, absolutely everything. You can also modify this by obviously just choosing, let's say it's just Outlook or something like that. So when you're ready, um, I can, if I want to save this search, I can go and save it. So you might want to do that. And then you can come back and, and do it again. And what's happening now is, as you can see, it's searching for content. And it will show me the status. So what is what it's actually searching. So how much time, you know, how much has been done? T to be honest, this is just a demo user, so you're not really going to see much here. Um, but the concept is, so if you can just imagine that we've got lots of details here, what you can do is you can now export this content. So I can export this content, uh, content in a machine-readable format, which is really easy for Alex to read. And ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly how you do a data subject request in Microsoft 365. Easy. So there you have it. All you need to know about GDPR in Microsoft 365. Pretty simple, really. I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. And if you have, as always, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and ring that bell and don't miss a thing. Until next time, you stay safe. Take care.